Hi boys and girls, happy Wednesday to you all. I miss you so much, how are you doing? I know it's not the same being together in our classroom and I know that we're all working really hard to make these adjustments of doing school at home, but I hope that things are going okay for you and just know that your teachers are thinking so much about you and we cannot wait to hopefully see you soon. Today, we're going to continue with our color theme. We are talking all about color this week with our read aloud time. But first, let's visit our mindful word for the day. We're already to the letter G. And today, G is for grateful. Grateful is a lot like appreciation. It is a filled up feeling that makes you notice all of the great things in your life. So take a moment, close your eyes, and I want you to think about all of the things that you are grateful for right now. We have a lot of challenging things going on right now and I love though that we can still take a moment and think about all of the wonderful things in our life and all of the wonderful things that we are grateful for. I am so grateful for technology because it allows me to still be able to communicate with all of you and to share our special story time together. What are you thankful for? Let's say hello to all of our friends that are here with us today sharing story time together. Our song that we sang yesterday, our hello song, has many verses, and I thought that it would be fun if we picked a new verse to do each day this week. So yesterday we said hello in English. Today let's say hello in Spanish. We're going to say buenos dias. You ready? Buenos dias, buenos dias, I say hello to you. Buenos dias, buenos dias, I say hello to you. There's so many ways in the world to say hello to you. Buenos dias, buenos dias. I say hello to you. Today we have a beautiful story about color and it's called The Color of Us. So sit back and enjoy our story today. My name is Lena, and I am seven, and I'm the color of cinnamon. My mom says she could eat me up. My mom is the color of French toast. She's an artist. Mom's teaching me how to mix colors. She says that if I mix red, yellow, black, and white paints in the right combination, I will have the right brown for a picture of me. The right brown? But mom, brown is brown, I say. That's not so, mom says. There are lots of different shades of brown. Let's take a walk and you will see. We go to the playground where we see my friend Sonia. Sonia is a light yellow brown, mom says. Just like creamy peanut butter, I say, my favorite. Isabella is chocolate brown, like the cupcakes we had for her birthday. And Lucy has skin that's peachy and tan. My best friend, Jo Jin, lives close to the playground. Jo Jin is the color of honey. Two streets over, we meet my cousin Kyle. His skin is reddish brown, like the leaves in the fall. Carlos and Rosita have brought their new puppy to the park. Carlos is a light cocoa brown, and Rosita's skin looks like butterscotch.
When we pass by the pizza parlor, Mom and I see Mr. Pellegrino flipping a pizza high in the air. He is the color of pizza crust, a golden brown. My babysitter, Candy, is like a beautiful jewel, bronze and amber. She looks like a princess. Mom and I walk to the park to eat our lunch. Look at everyone's legs, Mom. All different shades. After lunch, we walk to Mom's favorite store where Mr. Cashmere sells many different spices. He's the color of ginger and chili powder. And up the street is my Aunt Kathy's laundromat. Aunt Kathy is a tawny tan like coconuts and coffee toffee. After our walk, my friends come over. We take our towels to the roof and lie in the sun. I think about everyone I saw today. Sonia, Isabella, and Lucy, Joe Jin and Kyle, Carlos and Rosita, Mr. Pellegrino and Candy, Mr. Kashmir and Aunt Kathy, each one of them a beautiful color. My friends leave and I go downstairs. I'm happy as I get out my paints, yellow, red, black, and white. I think about all the wonderful colors I will make and say their names out loud. Cinnamon, chocolate, and honey, coffee, toffee, and butterscotch. They sound so delicious. At last, my pictures are done, and I have painted everyone. Look, Mom, I say, the colors of us. What a beautiful story celebrating the diversity and the many beautiful shades of skin that we see all around us every day. Boys and girls, we have a special poem to share together today. It's by the famous poet, Shel Silverstein. I'm sure many of you have read some of his poems before, but this one comes from his book, Where the Sidewalk Ends. And I have had this book since I was a little girl and my family even now loves to read his poems because they make us giggle and laugh and some of them are so silly. But I found one in here that is so perfect. It goes along with the story that we just read, The Colors of Us, and I wanted to share it with you today. It's called Colors. My skin is kind of sort of brownish, pinkish, yellowish, white, my eyes are grayish, bluish green, but I'm told they look orange in the night. My hair is reddish, blondish brown, but it's silver when it's wet. And all the colors I am inside have not been invented yet. What a beautiful poem about we are more than what we look like on the outside and we are all of the colors. It's like our song we sang yesterday. I am all the colors of the rainbow. Think about the colors you feel on the inside. Maybe some of those colors haven't even been invented yet, like Shel Silverstein was talking about in his poem. Boys and girls, we have time for one more story to share together today. And this one is called, I Ain't Gonna Paint No More. It's such a silly book. I hope you enjoy it. The pictures crack me up. <laughs> One day, my mama caught me painting pictures on the floor, on the ceiling and the walls and the curtains and the door, and I heard my mama holler like I never did before. <laughs> you ain't gonna paint no more. I ain't gonna paint no more, no more. I ain't gonna paint no more. That 
that's what I say. But there ain't no way that I ain't gonna paint no more. So I take some red and I paint my head. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Ah, oh, what the heck gonna paint my, I guess, neck. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Still, I just can't rest till I paint my Chest, now I ain't gonna paint no more. Guess there ain't no harm if I paint my... You guessed it, arm. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. I ain't gonna paint no more, no more. I ain't gonna paint no more. But I just can't stand not to paint my... Guess what's next? Hand! Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Then I see some black, so I paint my back. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Like an Easter egg, gonna paint my Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Still, I ain't complete. So I paint my... What's next? Feet. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. I ain't gonna paint no more, no more. I ain't gonna paint no more. But I'm such a nut. I'm gonna paint my, what? <laughs> Y'all don't think cause there ain't no paint so I ain't gonna paint no more. Boys and girls, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for joining me and reading some really wonderful books all about color. I'm going to put a link down below to one of our favorite songs, Crayola Doesn't Make a Color for Your Eyes, and I hope that you can take some time to listen to it today. We will see you all tomorrow. Bye.